All right, there's Finish and Sharks, Ace Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. So I'm actually hanging out here at the Excalibur Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. We're gonna go have a quick look at the pool. Let's go check it out. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members. More on that later. All right, Spanish and Sharks, so now here we are. We are at the Excalibur pool area. We're walking through the, uh, just kind of the run up to it, to the spa and the fitness centers down this way too. So, as you can see, I'm gonna actually get my card out and then we can actually go in. So the spa's over this way. If you wanna hit the fitness center, if you're a hotel guest, the fitness center is included, as is the pool. I have a lovely little pool store over here if you want to grab a few things before you pop in. Then after that, off we go. We just show them our key card and then we rock and roll from there. How's it going, boss? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's Vincent Shark. So here we are at the main pool area here. This is coming directly from the hotel and directly over some. Uh, <laughs> some music over here and this is what the main pool looks like so immediately to your left you're gonna see the towels and the other assorted pool services so that's about where we're gonna be over that way and then immediately in front of us we're gonna see the drenched restaurant so that's where you can have a bite if you're by the pool I believe that's also where the table side comes from when you roll up on one of these chairs over here where they have the menus so just something to keep in mind there actually doesn't look too bad looks pretty clean I don't think the drenched restaurant is open which is a shame because I am hungry and I very much like to have a little something to eat I might pop in there later see if there's something to eat from there all right spinach and sharks but I am starving it was a little bit of a late night out there with uh, Mark and JR and the rest of the gang over at stage door so we're gonna go ahead and take a little break here and we're gonna pick out some poolside bites here. It looks like it's the same nonsense as always. Senders and fries and chili nachos and BLTs and cheeseburgers. All the usual stuff. That's what we like to do. Should I get an awful pizza? I don't know. It's definitely... I mean, yeah, this, this, this is definitely like a kid's pool here, but yeah, we are inside. We're at the Drench Snack Bar. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make an order. All right, Spinach and Sharks, so we grabbed ourselves a little breakfast burrito over here. Thought we'd go ahead and try it out. It's all right, it's not terrible. I'd probably give it like a three out of five. It's got a lot of egg in it, unfortunately, but they've got a good salsa to go with it. So, you know, we're having a good enough time with that. But back to the pool. But yeah, here we are. And then we do have a smaller pool on this side over here, right next to the snack stand. Ladies and gentlemen's rooms right in there. And then here they are at the smaller pool. So in addition to the smaller pool, there's also a hot tub area too. Not sure why we'd need that. It's like 100 bloody degrees out, but we have that. And if you check out this side over here to the left, they have the showers too. So you can rinse off some of that chlorine and, you know, the excess, extra, everything else that comes from having the sunscreen and everything else in the pool. So, you know, we're looking forward to a good time. 
There are a few cabanas shorts back. There aren't quite as many cabanas here in day beds as there would be at many other pools I've noticed. Maybe because, I don't know, I'm guessing that uh, Excalibur is just not a big pool slash day bed sort of property there. We're gonna go ahead and go through, storm the castle gates over here. And, oh, here they are. Here's the rest of the uh, cabanas and I think a couple pool chairs here. Yeah, a lot of cabanas in this area of the pool here. And then a smaller waiting pool. There's a, no, no, actually that's a hot tub. That's got jets. All right. But since we've seen that, we also do have a couple day tables here. That's pretty neat. And then lots of tunes over this way. So if that's something that you guys are into, music is always a good thing. Lifeguards are on duty. And it's a pretty big pool area, honestly. It was a lot bigger than I remember it being. So I haven't been here for a little while. I think it's largely been de-themed for a while. So it's not quite as themed as it used to be, but yeah, that's about what to expect. And then that leads us into the big pool on the other side. So let's go ahead and cruise through the gate and go check it out. Okay, so to the right you can see a couple more cabanas here and then the drenched area that we just left. But let's go ahead and check out the big pool on this side. This is where the theming's kind of coming back. You're seeing a little bit of the architecture matching what we're having at the castle over here. And then you come back this way. Yep, here it is. Now here's the big rock. And this is where you get that good look at the pool. I know they do have some people that are up on top of the rock over there. <laughs> and a lot of people below the rock also having fun. A few folks on the waterfall over there. And yep, they do have a water slide up that way. So again, if you got bambinos, they'll probably have a good time here coming down the water slide. So you don't have to worry about the safety of your little ones too much. And then obviously, we got the rest of the cabanas and the day beds over here. And then a few rental chairs too. Some of the higher end padded rental chairs. We're back to the kind of chill pool over here, the non-slide pool. And then you get a good little look at the Luxor and all that.
And uh, yeah, Spinners and Sharks, that is the Excalibur Hotel and Casino Pool. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I also wanted to give another quick shout out to our Vegas visitor and Vegas veteran Patreon members for backing today's video. Guys, it means the world to me that you've chosen to support me in this way and help me stay independent of the fluctuating YouTube algorithm. You can back Ace of Vegas by checking out the Patreon page in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what do you guys think of the Excalibur pool? Is it worth a stay at the property, or would you advise a different family friendly option? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas.